Daniel's Dinosaurs by Mary Carmine. Illustrated by Martin Bington. Daniel loved dinosaurs. He loved big dinosaurs, and he loved little dinosaurs. At the library, he read books about dinosaurs. When he drew pictures, he drew pictures of dinosaurs. When he wrote stories, he wrote stories about dinosaurs. Daniel's dinosaurs were everywhere. Two platyosaurs lived next door. A Segnosaurus sat behind each checkout at the supermarket. An Allosaurus directed traffic, and one unknown variety barked at him from behind a high fence every morning as Daniel passed by on his way to school. Daniel's teacher was a nice, friendly, plant-eating Diplodocus. But sometimes... She turned into a big, fierce Tyrannosaurus. I wish you'd think of something else sometimes, said Daniel's mother. Why don't we go to the city and visit the aquarium? That's a good idea, said Daniel. I like fish, but not as much as dinosaurs. It was a long drive to the city. All the way there, Daniel drew pictures of dinosaurs. A smiling Ceratosaurus took their money at the ticket office. Daniel and his mother looked at the rock pools, the seahorses, and the little fish. They looked at the stingrays and stayed for a long time. They looked at the octopuses and stayed even longer. Then they looked at the sharks and stayed for a very long time indeed. As they left, Daniel said goodbye to the smiling gray nurse shark in the ticket office.